What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, the Indians held up in Hyderabad have sallied out and we are going to destroy them, for this is the next conquest on our road to victory. So let's crack on. So I've just realised one of my units has got up to at full strength is at veterancy level 4. Everyone is in a star, I think that's level 4. And then it goes up, or maybe 5. I never can remember. All I know is more veterancy is good. But it can be a trouble. It can be trouble to actually maintain that veterancy at times. It's best to do thing inexperienced people to every slot rather than if you merged units, you're adding some experienced. You're adding some experience. Yeah, there, there they are. You're adding some experienced troops. We're well, clumping them all together and keeping all your new, all your fresh troops together. So let's get all you out of the way. Okay, so this being the Indian factions, you're going to want to maximise your use of artillery. Because the Indians do like to smash into your line with as many troops as possible and overwhelm you. But that can be a benefit and a curse. It can be simple at times. Is this a... Oh, just a regular 12 pounder. Now, you might be better off here actually. Because I am keeping a conscious eye on um, those mortars that are available. To the enemy, so I may end up putting some. Maybe I'll take my. Keep two units of grenadiers here. And let's send these chaps on a bit of a. or get ready to send these chaps on a bit of a spoiling expedition. You are the hidden ones, yeah. so you. I want to keep them hidden so their presence doesn't influence the AI's deployment. Well, let's get ready to put a unit of militia. I don't know, keep them here for now. Fire will off. The garrison troops aren't, en aren't engaging, so um, I feel slightly more at ease with... For a minute I thought that was a big smudge where one of my gun teams were. I feel slightly more at ease at moving these guys back, but they will need a bit of shepherding because there is a cavalry team very close to them. You're engaging me. Ooh, Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Zandari Horsemen. So I presume it's this unit of artillery that's engaging me. Yeah, it is. I hear camels. There you are. These mortars are moving, which is annoying. I'm looking completely the wrong way. I was like, I'm sure I've not deployed that far away. Because I can see the white lines. So yeah, you guys will be okay. bad the bulk of our artillery is smashing into this indestructible fort. We get you to take the water crews, I don't really care if you do or don't, it's more about collateral damage. 
They are engaging the cavalry, which is always nice. Now they are trying. Yeah, but they are moving up on this flank, so I may want my artillery to instead gauge, engage some potentially more useful targets. And with shrapnel shot. Oh no, I don't have shrapnel shot on the demi cannons. And not at that range either. Oh, do you have charging artillery? Charging cavalrymen? Ah, they are skirmish cavalry, so that's why they're moving up to engage. Yeah, they should be good to get a, a blast of shrapnel shot. The sounds not weren't loaded in properly. That was, that was a massive shrapnel shot. Your bows will not do anything to help you now. Okay, let's get you guys to hit. Mm. These guys are going off too cleanly to hit the right flank. That's fair enough. I will instead put you on hitting this unit. run my grenadiers up to the last minute because the cavalry is starting to walk after me. I don't know if they're going to chase me but I want to at least have my infantry in position. Demi cannons is firing, firing round shot regardless. Hit them with shrapnel shot now. More hit on the flank. There come some bowmen, which hopefully. God, I, my game's really stuttery today. I don't know why. These guys should route fairly swiftly. Because they're under the combined fire of many units. Okay, let's get this unit to something a bit more central. Let's get these guys firing canister shot. The Shuno Bowman, which similarly to the Bowman on that flank, should be sent packing in short order. Let's consolidate this, these foot units back, because right now they're a bit unsupported with this Grenadier team. Royal Indian Guards. That'd be pretty neat. But again, my guys now will have, because they've got hyper higher volume. So I need to maximize my firepower. Realistically, it'll take a lot to wear them down. Come on, why are you deploying in a funny way? Let's move these two units of grenadiers up to provide more fire. Get some round shot. The cast shot, cast shot. Good. Need to maximise their firepower with this unit. Oh, the general's dead. Oh, well, that happened. Ah, they charged my line. I see. Ok, 
If you use a canister shot on that unit of Sea Musketeers pretty rapidly. Infantry attack in the centre. Are these reinforcements or these guys that just deployed funny? They just deployed funny. Water's about to engage, it looks like it. Yep, they are. Let's rotate these guys so they can support each other. Some more cavalry coming in. Run into one of the grenadiers. to start to send units up to support uh, some sort of assault on the fortress. Real major line. Grenadiers can hold up. Can we quickly check if there's anything obvious running need to stop? Because that's starting to bug me now. So just one second, guys. Okie dokie, that should be it sorted. But we'll find out. Good. Let's keep getting these guys. Let's get this guy, get this flank to route. Gives me another option to advance on the city from the from the north. But to be honest, it looks like an overall general capitulation. In general sense. So let's take these guys and let's move them up. Mm, they're just unpopulous, they should. Yeah, there you go, send them. This is where howitzers are very, very useful because they provide such flexible support. You can plant them in the centre of the line, like I'm shedding these guys or anywhere really. Yeah, massive amounts of firepower, but can you put it out reliably? Although they have not my nice elite unit down to half strength. So them keep getting the volleys off. There we go, and then let's send these chaps up. Not so much to take this, to take the fortress, but to put some put some shots on their artillery, put some shots on their camels, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, we're getting getting into a position to be engaged by their mortars, but kind of have to. Let's get all my guns working and punching a hole. I don't, I don't need to because the center, the gap in the center, but I'd rather have more options. Let's put a militia unit up on the wall. That's all I'm main away from these guys, so they can all form a square. But they are just kind of gunners, so. Is 
quick I'm sure it's going to be, it is. Maybe they're routing. Chase down the full artillery. These guys are chased down the guns in the centre, or the central mortars. unit has reformed but under the volleys of one single unit of infantry is enough to nearly make them break so I should put you guys all somewhere safe so you can kill each other let's end it there no need to carry it on it's a set the loss ratio on that was pretty good in our favor yeah not bad at all Another attack from Arissa. Or onto Arissa, I should say. There is a port in this region Gentlemen that has not Portugal. yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade do? port. Okay, so where do I want to send you? Send you up to Paris. I'm not sure why I knocked this down for. Does it have a school? I don't see why it would be. Probably industry and probably overcompensated with too many happy buildings. Of course, we're starting to get produce from India shipped out. Got my college on the go. So let's take these two sloops, send them up to raid, start raiding. Indian ports. Gives us a nice view on the number of armies they have actually in the region. So I'm starting to recruit my garrison for Calcutta, so let's move you down. Let's move you out to go relieve Kuttak. And let's engage their forces. Because ultimately, if it's not a brilliant stack, I've got modern artillery and top quality, mostly infantry. So let's fight. The sooner I can free up Kuttak, the sooner I can have that for um, holding or pinning uh, Mughal Fallen. That's my, that's my stance. And I'm sticking to it. But yes, fight this battle, hopefully win. With this army, I will reform my garrison force and, oh, this is, hold on. What a funky deployment zone. Do I want to deploy in this wedge? That's really peculiar. No, I don't want to deploy directly in this wedge. But I will put some... Form a bit of a defensive position and put some guns up. Like this. Something like that. Let's put some units in the centre. That, that particular crowd crop is going to be a bit of a tricky feature. That's not perfect. But I'll take it. Most things want a bit of flexibility. I don't quite know what the AI is going to do with this. So my deployment is going to be a bit thinner than it usually is. Let's just keep these guys here ish you over here you in the center you on the left to plonk this mighty battery of artillery down and let's bring my general up and see what the lay of the land is so they've deployed well back we're going to open up on their artillery. Oh, they're moving up. 
too. Where's the quick climb range? Those trees. Yep, here comes their response. So it's got my mortars to pick at their foot artillery. And my foot artillery seems to do quite a good job at hitting these mortar crews. So one of these goes to counter uh, to to quick climb shots. They're starting to come within range. Let's get you guys to form fire canister at the nomads because they're getting a bit close. And then let's fold this unit of mercenaries into this flank and rotate. Okay, let's get them all. All firing quick lines at fresh targets, whatever they think is suitable. One of you continue to hit their artillery. One of you keep blitzing. Oh no, you may as well keep blitzing your infantry actually, they're nice big blocks. Artillery. And while it's not a great reason to use, great position to use them, that's still probably better than nothing. Okay, the shrapnel shot goes all the way back here. It went. Boom here, I'm counting them all the way here. It's pretty big. So you have to break them by killing guys back here that were stood in their group. It's not there. Levy, Kill Levy, Kizilbashi, I think, is actually pronounced. Good mass route on this flank. You did leave your general exposed. Who's not even your general? Good. Spin you guys around, because you are my foot guards with absolutely dashing moustaches. Fall back into my line of fire. There's the, there's the chap. Sadly, though, though my men's musketry is still not as good as it was before. Okay, mass battles across, so let's start to action pick smart targets for my men. And let's also deploy. Oh, you're only surprised, but. Too terrible. Let's get this most, this easternmost unit start supporting my men. More men. Fire. Make ready. Fire. You know all that good stuff. Ones coming in. Let's do this. Let's get them playing round shot off the artillery.
hopefully musketeers are engaging and they are engaging these musketeers and not going rogue. Oh, the fetching hats. your muskets to the battle, men. You're not just musket fodder. You're soldiers of France. So you need to bunch the units together. The trouble is, when they start to chain, they start to chain losing morale quite aggressively, then it's not really a good idea. Ooh, that's their captain gone. So their actual general general is over here. Oh, Best spin your guns around, mateys, or usher in for a bit of a shock. Oh, good, this flank is about to be ready to fire. Make ready. Aim. Fire! Good. Thank God they didn't hit my guns. They're very fast and loose. Okay, those musketeers are going to go down. They're going to flee. They're on the left of this general, so I might switch all these to round shot and start clinking at their general. Once I see how effective or not quicklane is, it turns out not very. Good my 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 Indian troops are compared to their Indian troops. They have a target of the fire, so we should win. So I think the thing is with platoon fire no not platoon firing, fire by rank is meant to provide a three continuous big morale hits, but what platoon firing does is it continuously kind of chips away at them. Uh, but I have to say, in Dark, but you didn't really see platoon firing, not even in your elite units. They all still seem to prefer fire by rank. And holy moly, these guys look great. It's not doing the effect you would like. But that is the end of it, so. Probably just gonna do something like this. Yeah, the general's been splattered. There we go, we've all gone. We successfully rode to the aid of Katak and free to join the war on the frontier. Because ultimately Bengal is it's not exposed, it's quite a big region, but it's still ah. Let's use this force to chase them down. Because they still have movement. So move them back there. Plenish you. Plenish. Well, actually, you probably move up to here instead. And let's do some basic repairs in the region. Because you do like me now. Even though you are a um, Protestant swine. Good, 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 good. Okay. So let's have a look. Natural causes. Yeah, that's fair enough. Have we done? Yeah, we hopped over to Windsor or that, didn't we? Norway's been fortified. For some reason. Can't remember why I did that. So, uh, I meant to keep on this chap. Let's give Ireland a new steam mill. Lots of top of the ports. We've got some good basic infrastructure getting built. My Jesuit college is being upgraded. Uh, this is where a university used to be. You're 100% Catholic, so I'll send you on to Williamsburg, even though it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Connecticut's 
is recruiting infantry. Ceylon is recruiting lots of stuff. Bengal is recruiting lots of stuff. Cool, so you've got lots of artillery and some. Let's mix it up. Let's make sure they are an actual Indian faction. Although, did I, did I run out of a limit? Yeah, 14. <laughs> City besieged. Katak. Not anymore. It's not. Okay, yeah, that was going to be its own recruitment. Yeah, that was, must be recruitment for its own garrison, so I think we can hold off on some of that now. Let's just get some militia just to sit there, just in case. Votre Majesty. Cool, let's move you around to knock out that. Yeah, it's just a depleted faction. Come on, you. Let's move up, keep replenishment going. Potentially. Assault. Assaults, we can at least be fortified by the time these Indian regions start, factions start coming in. But I might try to hold it off one more turn for this army Monsieur. to get into position. Oh, these are all my sneaky, sneaky guys. Yep, Sweden's still up there. Still keeping an eye on Spain. You're okay. Trade gained. Corporal and gold braids. Is that you? Was that this guy? It's this guy, darling of the gutter press. <laughs> Trade gained. Yeah, there you go. The free press hardly ever print bad news or unkind news. Basically, the squaddies love him. Gentleman's been done. Cool. So, the first thing I want to do is take out Field Marshal. You are a Field Marshal. Let's take out this guy. So let's start recruiting some cool elite armies with them. So. So I've got two guys on the shelf of the guard. The job is to sm Okay, cool. So let's get. You get two guard of cheval. You can get two royal crassier guard. Oh no, come on. Two Royal Crassier Guards, and you can get two. Two more Royal Crassier Guards. Although, maybe it being India, I still might want a balance between heavy and light. Because their armies aren't necessarily. Their armies aren't necessarily that armored, but they do have lots of them, so I might want to do something like. Ooh. Like that, you know, more go more towards the light cavalry to, to chase down fleeing units. Let's just get two units of siege artillery. I just guard artillery. Mm, guard artillery will do. Monsieur. Guard artillery, good. Milor? I'm probably going to want some howitzers. I'm only going to want the super duper heavy big ones. Maybe one. One in an army with two units of 24 pounders. So let's get let's see, 12. It's too much choice. Good, now I just want two of you. Oui? You're right, I'm gonna recruit some infantry of you guys to mix it up a bit. Okay, so you're gonna get one of them. Get the last to give your regiment. One four, we get two crit. Ooh, I'm not like these guys, is that the Royal Sudwa? No, I don't get all of you, then I get Three units of you. Votre Majesty. Cool. Then let's get you have two units of Grenadier Guards. Votre Majesty. You get two units of Swiss Lion. Cool. So those three packed out to the gills. Everyone nearby is going to be churning up infantry like mad. Except one of these is going to stay hey, here and over. keep an eye on the Spanish anything I might want to recruit a bit more of a garrison in Amsterdam or maybe some of these more frontier towns that they might 
fancy trying to tank to capture. So maybe something like that. That's quite big, but take it. Just to just to try hold them in hold them in a bit. Sweet. Cool. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the battles we've had in India. And we'll see you next time where more actions will be abound. All right, cheers, guys. See you next time.